Mr. Deputy, the government can't shake their taxing ways. Mm -hmm. You said you would not increase taxes. You said it. Yes. But what did you do? You put the taxes on the Bahamian people. And whether it's a levy, a fee, or an increase, you did it. You said if you elect the FNM, your taxes will go up. Yes. Not only have you increased taxes, Mr. Deputy, but they created new ones. So they said there would be no taxes. They increased taxes, and they created new ones. That's the innovation. That's you now charge an extra $2 for every Bahamian to leave the country, even the babies. And since she came to office, she taxed the babies, pampers, and their milk. My Lord. You raised taxes on the wealthy, but raised it on the poor. Reduced taxes on the wealthy, but raised it on the poor. Right. We've been telling them to take the taxes off the high purchase real estate. They have not. Mr. Mr. Deputy, this government's economic policy, this government's economic policy instinct is to tax so much that they find themselves walking back once a blue moon like the boat registration fees, that they increased by 3,500%. And then they said, oh, my bad. But Mr. Deputy, even when their conscience hit them and they think about how the taxes will impact the people, it's not the Bahamian people, it's the foreign interests. You remember the taxes for the cruise ship? And the cruise ship hollered. The cruise ship people hollered. And what did they do? They delayed it, they moonwalked. Six months, moonwalk for six months. But the Bahamian people have been hollering, hollering. But they pay no attention to that, Mr. Deputy. Mm -hmm. 